We have uh, the Tampa Bay Clean Cities Coalition. It's an effort with the potential to change the way our community functions in a very fundamental way. And I'm proud that the University of South Florida is a partner in this great effort. I'd like to thank the Hillsborough County Environmental Protection Commission for spearheading this effort. Richard Garrity, who is here and is the executive director. I'd also like to thank our great friends, John Vermill of Tico. There are a few people from Tico here. Everybody from Tico, raise your hand. You, uh, you have a, a large contingent here. Mark Sharp of the Hillsborough County Commission. And um, we have Mike Suarez of Tampa City Council and Mary Ellen Ilya of the Hillsborough County Schools is here. There she is back. And um, somebody that is absolutely an icon and fantastic in our community, Frank Morsani, is here. And thank you all for being part of today's program. These esteemed individuals are behind what I hope will be a transformation and a transformative effort for our area, a move toward clean energy and transportation that will reduce our impact on the planet, lessen our dependence on foreign oil, and provide a healthier environment for all. We know this task will not be easy, but by starting with transportation, we will make major strides as we move toward our goal of a healthier and more sustainable community. The U.S. Department of Energy reports that transportation accounts for about 71% of U.S. petroleum consumption. Gasoline and diesel-powered vehicles are major sources of greenhouse gases, smog-forming compounds, and um, other pollutants. Widespread use of alternative fuels and advanced vehicles will greatly reduce the emissions that impact, impact our quality and our health. And we have formed a great partnership with a worthy goal to join more than 100 clean cities coalitions across the country focused on transportation sustainability. And the strength of this movement is in its members, local governments, educational institutions, private industry, fuel suppliers, and vehicle manufacturers. It will take everyone working toward solutions to bring about this kind of change and how necessary it is. Together, we can fund uh, opportunities to support clean cities projects and educate transportation decision makers on the benefits of using alternative fuels and advanced vehicles. We can provide the public with the knowledge they need to be informed consumers and citizens, and we know that once they raise their expectations, change will surely follow. Before I turn the program over for the morning, I wanted to announce one more big development that happily coincides with our gathering here, and the timing could not be better. The University of South Florida has again been named by the Sierra Club as one of the nation's coolest schools <laughs> for its efforts in sustaining education and practice. But the exciting news is this. USF rocketed up the rankings from 47th last year to 12th this year. top 10 of coolest schools. <laughs> and this is a huge leap forward for our university and it's a validation that our true passion for sustainability is being embraced by our students and the entire campus community. I truly believe this commitment, the same commitment we share with you today, will reap huge benefits for our community as we move forward. Christian Wells, Christian Wells, who is USF's inaugural director of the Office of Sustainability has done an incredible job leading our campus initiatives and is one of the main reasons why we have climbed the rankings so quickly. 